Welcome all who wander in the curious. Grab your warmest coats for we're about to dive into the chilling world of the snow siren. Hmm. You know what? Here, let me change it to something more appropriate. Ha! Look at that, so cute. The Yuki Ona or Snow Woman is a prominent figure in Japanese folklore. But before we delve into her history, let's take a closer look at her appearance. The Yuki Ona's appearance is as mesmerizing as it is chilling. On snowy nights, she emerges as a figure of ethereal beauty. Her long black hair cascading around her like a shroud against the icy landscape. Her tall slender form is draped in a white kimono, a stark contrast to her inhumanely pale or even translucent skin. As she glides across the snow, she leaves no trace of her passage, her feet seemingly hovering above the frozen ground. Some legends even claim that she lacks feet altogether. Despite her captivating beauty, her piercing gaze holds a hint of menace, striking fear into the hearts of mortals who dare to behold her icy visage. In Lafcadio Urn's Quaidon, he paints her with blue lips. It's as if she was kissed by winter itself. In the way that he describes her, it's as if she was a part of the landscape blending in seamlessly yet standing out against the snowy backdrop. And in some versions, she's not afraid to show some skin, strutting around in the buff which, I mean let's be honest, takes embracing the cold to a whole new level. Sicko. The name Yuki Ona itself suggests her association with snow. However, she is known by several other names across different regions of Japan. Some of these names include Snow Daughter, Snow Girl, Woman, Sister, Granny, Hag, Snowfall Witch, or Snowfall Hag. And additionally, the Yuki Ona is associated with icicles in some regions, leading to the name like Surara Ona, Kanekori Masumi, and Shigama Nyobu. I guess she's got a whole frosty family tree of relatives. Okay, I'll stop. The origins of the Yukiona can be traced back to ancient folklores, with the earliest references dating back to Japan's Muromachi period. The Sogi Shokoku Monogatari by Renga poet Sogi mentions encountering a Yukiona in the Ichigo province, indicating that her legends were firmly established during this period, cementing her place in Japanese folklore. In the Ujiya region of the Niigata prefecture, a haunting legend tells of a beautiful woman who mysteriously appears and becomes a man's wife. However, her reluctance to bathe reveals her true nature, leading her to disappear and only leaving behind fragmented icicles. Similar stories abound in the Amora and the Yamagata prefectures. In one tale, an old couple welcomes a Yukiona into their home on a snowy night, only to witness her transform into a whirl of snow before their very eyes. Another version involves a Yukiona asking passerbys to hug a child that she was carrying, with fatal consequences for those who comply. Another tale tells a brave warrior outsmarts a Yukiona by hugging the child while holding a short sword close by, avoiding the ghoul's deadly trap. This act of cunning earns him treasures from the grateful Yukiona. Her legend is a colorful tapestry woven with various variations from different regions of Japan, each adding its unique twist to her mysterious character. Starting with the water beggars, in the Totori prefecture, the Yukiona is set to ride the wind appearing on days with light snow. Carrying a white gohei wand, she approaches people asking for water, but beware, offering cold water makes her swell, while hot water melts her away. And next we have the moon princess. Originating from the Yamagata prefecture, the Yukiona is depicted as the princess of the lunar world, living in luxury on the moon. But even with all that opulence, she craves the thrill of Earth. One fateful snowy night, she descends on the moonbeam, seeking adventure but finds herself trapped on Earth, condemning to appear on full moon nights, forever yearning for her celestial home. Next, we have the Snow Vampire. This version depicts the Yukiona as a terrifying snow vampire haunting snowy forests. She sustains herself by sucking the vital energy known as the Psyche from humans. Victims are frozen to death before she extracts their Psyche through their mouths. And lastly, the Talking Snow Woman. In this tale of the Yukiona, she's strolling along in dark snowy nights, engaging unsuspecting travelers in conversation. But in some other tales, ignoring her could lead to dire consequences, with tossing her offenders into nearby ravines, leaving them to fend for themselves in the icy darkness. Occasionally, she adopts a succubus-like demeanor, luring weak-willed men to their icy demise through, um, adult encounters, or kisses. Yeah kisses.
In Lafcadio Urn's rendition of the Yukiona's legend, two woodcutters, Minokichi and Musaku, find themselves trapped in the mountain hut during a fierce snowstorm. In the dead of night, Minokichi awakens to the sight of a stunning woman draped in white. She breathes frost upon Musaku, freezing him to death instantly. Turning her attention to Minokichi, the snow woman intends to do the same, but upon witnessing his youth and beauty, she hesitates. Instead, she warns him to never speak of what he had seen. Should he break his silence, she vows to end his life. Years pass and Minokichi marries a woman named O Yuki, who remains perpetually youthful and bears him children. One fateful night, Minokichi shares the tale of the encounter with the snow woman. To his astonishment, Oyuki reveals herself as the same entity, spared from fulfilling her threat by their shared offspring. Before melting away into the darkness, Oyuki implores Minokichi to take care of their children, while some stories depict her staying with her husband and children, arguing that he technically did not break the promise by telling her specifically. The Snow Woman has certainly made her mark in pop culture. While she may not often star in musicals, she thrives in storytelling, captivating us with her icy allure and chilling tales. So join me as we take a look at her history in pop culture. Starting with music, we have Wagaki Band's Sasa Miyuki. The promotional music video for this song features the lead singer Yuko Suzuhana portraying an awakened Yuki Ona. And next we have Symphony X's Lady of the Snow. This song from the album Twilight in Olympus draws lyrical inspiration from the Yuki Ona myth. And sadly, lastly on this list, we have Yuki Ona by Yoshiko Sai, featured in her album Mengekyu, delves into the essence of the Yuki Ona from Japanese folklore. Sai's haunting blend of psychedelic folk and jazz, combined with the poetic lyrics, captures the chilling beauty and mystique of this mythical snow woman. Next in games, we have Magic the Gathering, the Yukiona card, and the saviors of the Kamigawa set, along with novels featuring unnamed Yukiona characters expanding the game's lore. Next, we have Yu-Gi-Oh! The Trading Card Game. Yuki Ona, the Ice Mayakashi, and her evolved form draws inspiration from the Yuki Ona myth. And lastly, we have Yume Nikki. In this cult classic role-playing game, includes the Yuki Ona as one of the obtainable effects, allowing players to transform into this mythical creature. And finally, it's in films and TV shows where her story truly shines. So let's dive into some notable adaptations. Starting with Quaidon, adapted directly from Lafcadio's version, this anthology film features the Woman of the Snow segment, bringing the haunting tale to life on the screen. And next we have Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. Loosely adapted as the segment Lover's Vow, this film explores the darker themes of encounters with the Yukiona. Next we have Dreams, directed by Akira Kurosawa. This anthology film includes a segmented title called The Blizzard, featuring a Yukiona. And next we have Rosario plus Vampire. Mizure Shirayuki, a character in this manga slash anime series, draws inspiration from the Yukiona myth. Next we have Yu Yu Hakusho. The Yukiona appears in this manga slash anime series with the character Hiei born to one along with his twin sister Yukina. And next we have Inspector. The Yukiona makes an appearance in this manga slash anime series, showcasing her supernatural ability and her mysterious allure. And lastly, The Snow Woman, considered one of the most faithful adaptations of Urn's story, this fantasy horror film beautifully captures the essence of the Yukiona myth. Truly a must watch for sure. Now, let's unravel the chilling abilities of the Snow Woman. While these ratings are subjective, they offer insight into the potential dangers one might face when encountering these icy entities. Starting with a puff of her icy breath, the Yuki Ona can turn anything into instant ice sculptures. Need a master of disguise? She can vanish into thin air or transform into mist. She's like the ultimate snow ninja, blending in with the frosty scenery until it's too late. Who needs a weather app when you got the Yuki Ona around? With a snap of her frosty finger, she can whisk you away into the iciest corners of the world or summon snowstorms that can make Elsa jealous. Don't fall for those enchanting blue lips because the Yukiona's got a knack for baiting you in with her beauty, only to leave you hypnotized and helpless against her frosty attacks. And lastly, immortality. Forget anti-aging creams. She's been around for centuries, rocking that snow white complexion like it's nobody's business. Now, when facing the icy allure of the Yukiona, a warm coat alone won't cut it. Regrettably, there's no way to permafrost her down. But fear not, here are some frost fighting tips that could save your life. 
In folklore, salt and pure iron is like kryptonite to supernatural beings. Keeps them handy to create protective barriers and keep her chilly charms at bay. And speaking of charms, arm yourself with protective charms or talismans known to ward off spirits. Traveling by yourself, stranger? Well, bring along some trusty companions who can watch your back and lend a hand if things get too icy. Pack portable heat sources like hand warmers and... You know what? No. Consider gas-related weapons like this... <laughs> Give her the hot shoulder treatment. Get it? Cause cold shoulder. Okay, never mind. As we conclude our journey through this chilling tale of the Japanese snow woman, it becomes clear that these icy spirits hold us captive with their frosty allure and mysterious powers. From ancient folklore to modern pop culture, the Yuki Ona continues to cast her enchanting spell, reminding us of the mesmerizing beauty and lurking danger within the snow-covered landscapes. Before we wrap up this chilly adventure, by the time this video comes out, my channel would have just hit its first birthday. Yeah! And by golly, do we have something super planned for our next video. Well, either that or it might just be a solo thing. I'm still figuring it out. Anyways, if you like my video, consider freezing that like and subscribe button and join us as we embark on our next adventure into the murky depths. The classic sinister creature of the deep. So until then, keep exploring the frost-covered landscapes, stay curious like a snowflake dancing in the winter breeze, and remember, even the coldest winter eventually thaws, making way for the warmth of spring. Peace, peace.